has his cheap shot. William Torn has his memoir to pieces after tweets hit nails on the head. Ever since Meghan Markle joined the royal family, it's become clear that to many, Markle was Princess Diana's heir apparent, possessing much in common with the late people's princess, via Vogue. Among those similarities is that both were mistreated by the royal family and publicly expressed their discontent, with Markle and her husband Prince Harry even going so far as to divorce themselves from the royal institution and doing a tell-all with Oprah, via New York Times. The royal family, Markle explained in the Oprah interview, was willing to lie to protect other members of the family, but they weren't willing to tell the truth to protect me and my husband. For his part, Prince Harry expressed disappointment with his father, Prince Charles. I feel really let down, because he's been through something similar, Harry said, in reference to how Prince Charles witnessed the way the British tabloids had assaulted Princess Diana, and yet was willing to allow it to happen to Markle. Perhaps not surprisingly, after Markle and Harry's interview with Oprah, the royal family's popularity in the United States declined. Prince William and Kate Middleton included something the pair are now reportedly looking to get a handle on in 2022, via the Daily Beast. Team Cambridge is very focused on America and making sure they have a high profile over there, a source shared. While Prince William and Kate Middleton might not have been everyone's favorite Brits this year, there is at least one instance where they were on the right side of things. Back in July, British football players Bukayo Osaka, Marcus Rashford, and Jadon Sancho faced online bullying and racist attacks when they missed penalty kicks in Team England's match against Italy in the Euro 2020 final, reports People. Prince William, who serves as president of the Football Association, stood behind the players and condemned this abuse. I am sickened by the racist abuse aimed at England players after last night's match. It is totally unacceptable that players have to endure this abhorrent behaviour, Prince William tweeted. It must stop now and all those involved should be held accountable. Additionally, the prince signed the tweet with a W to signify that he was sending the message personally, and that it was not an official palace message. The tweet garnered 108,000 likes topping their second most popular tweet that year a picture of William, Kate, and their son, Prince George, enjoying a soccer match, captioned with incredible performance at England. Hashtag Jereng. If Prince William and Kate will be able to revive their popularity in 2022, only time will tell. Prince William and Kate Middleton had a low key this year due to their plans to visit Sandringham getting cancelled, and apparently they exchanged some meaningful gifts while they were at it. While Kate and William avoid overly spoiling the children, they let the rule slide at Christmas, a source tells Us Weekly, who noted that George got a camping kit, complete with a tent, walkie-talkies, and a flashlight, Louis got a climbing frame, and Charlotte got a video camera. Cool, fun, cute, but more importantly William gave Duchess Kate a gorgeous piece of jewellery because he wanted the holiday to feel extra special for her. As the source put it, after a busy year, William wanted to make this Christmas extra special for Kate and surprised her with a beautiful bracelet. Kate cooked a traditional Christmas feast for lunch, turkey, stuffing, pigs in blankets, ham, roast potatoes and all the trimmings, the source said, adding that Kate used her creative skills to decorate the table with candles, evergreen branches and cones as centerpieces. The children helped Kate bake a chocolate Christmas log and apple pie for dessert, but the highlight was making a gingerbread house, covered in their favorite sweets. They also made sure to video chat with the Queen, so sounds like a cozy day all around. K, that's all. Back to my busy schedule of lying face down on the floor po-
behind the players and condemned this abuse. I am sickened by the racist abuse aimed at England players after last night's match. It is totally unacceptable that players have to endure this abhorrent behaviour, Prince William tweeted. It must stop now and all those involved should be held accountable. Additionally, the prince signed the tweet with a W to signify that he was sending the message personally, and that it was not an official palace message. The tweet garnered 108,000 likes, topping their second most popular tweet that year a picture of William, Kate, and their son, Prince George, enjoying a soccer match, captioned with incredible performance at England. Hashtag Jereng. If Prince William and Kate will be able to revive their popularity in 2022, 